Hello guys, this is going to be the installation process of the uh, solid state hard drive and 4 gigabytes of RAM into my laptop here. And if you guys hear like a humming sound or whatever, it's just my AC on, so please bear with me. Because uh, this microphone may just be sensitive enough where the sound of my AC would be very, very amplified throughout the video. So let's get started here. I'm just going to open the... Uh, the hard drive and RAM compartments as well as the second hard drive bay right here and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. This is where the RAM chips are, and that is the hard drive right here. Let's see, this is the two gigabyte model. I'm gonna take it out and show you guys. Just gonna replace this with the four gigabyte model that I bought. Let's take it back out the packaging. And this is the 4 gigabyte model. And it's just as simple as reattaching it back. And now I have 8 gigs of RAM. As simple as that. So now this is the mechanical 500 gigabyte 7200 RPMs. Um, hard drive that my laptop originally shipped with this has my this is basically my boot drive as well as my storage drive it has all of my information on it I finished cloning um, like the operating systems and some and my applications to the, the solid state drive already and with the with the software the software keeps all the information on the source drive which it should so everything is still on this hard drive and I'm just gonna take this hard drive and then move it to the secondary bay and treat this hard drive as a uh, a storage hard drive but I'm not gonna erase everything on this yet until the solid state drive is up and running and it's been up and running for probably a good while probably I'll say one to two days and it doesn't fail and then I'll erase what's I'll, I'll erase my Windows partition off of this to get more space for extra storage so now I'm gonna remove this hard drive And this is how your typical mechanical spinning disk hard drive looks. It's it's significantly, well not significantly, but it's noticeably heavier than the solid state drive. Which is right here. It's back into a uh, landscape. This is the solid state drive and this is the mechanical drive. And the thing is, my laptop has a unique uh, hard drive bay or hard drive enclosure or what they call as a caddy. It's basically what holds the hard drive in place as it fits into the, um, the hard drive bay enclosure. Because if I was just to put the bare hard drive into the enclosure, the hard drive would be able to move around. And if your mechanical hard drive is moving around while it's actually operating that is the worst thing you can have happen into a mechanical hard drive because you could just lose all your data um the solid state drive will easily survive all of that but still you don't want the solid state drive moving around because you can potentially like damage it it won't be significant to the point where your data is lost but you just don't want to hear the sound of the solid state drive knocking around inside of your laptop as you move it so the thing is now this specific caddy that my laptop uses to um, holster the hard drives it's required even in the uh, secondary hard drive base so luckily 
I, I was notified of this before this whole procedure I even started. So I, I ordered a spare caddy, as you can see here, for this hard drive. So I can now fit it into the boot drive section and have the storage drive all simultaneously operating. So let me open the uh, caddy right here and then install the solid state drive. All right, now that we have the solid state drive installed, let's install the mechanical drive that my laptop originally shipped with and place it into the secondary hard drive bay right here. I'm going to show you guys a close-up of the accessible internals of the laptop. Now it's time to assemble everything back together.